All right, welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Brad One, and tonight I'm gonna be playing some Burn. Uh, it's been quite a hectic day, and I just thought, hey, let's just try to burn some people out. So that's what I came home. That's what I decided to do. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Burn is, it's basically we're trying to quote unquote burn our opponent out. So our game strategy is gonna be try to stick a creature turn one and then count to 20 and hopefully they die. Uh, count to 20 damage and let's hopefully kill them. Um, we have a lot of things to do that. Most of our spells heal three damage, lightning bolt, lava spike, skewer, rift bolt. So those are the spells that we're gonna try to cast. Yeah, it's just a race. Um, the nice part is in modern people decide to also shock themselves because they're like, oh, I can play with my life total. We're going to take advantage of that, and that's why burn works. All right. We're going to uh, get in, and let's find a match. So, yeah, I played this a little while back. Um, burn is a great starter deck um, if you're just looking to get into mo the modern format, even, like, Legacy Burn. I mean, this transform this can go into both formats, really. Um, so it's really quite a cheap pickup. Um, I think the most expensive card online is probably the rest in peace. Um, and you can get by without fetches. Um, although these ones do run, um, it runs Arid Mesa. Arid Mesa tends to be a little bit of an expensive fetch. Uh, Wooded Foothills though, because it was printed in a standard set, still pretty cheap. So, uh, definitely a good one to pick up. Let's see, how much is it? Yeah, 500 in paper, most of that's going to be in fetches. 200 online, and I'm going to say that most of that's going to be in the Eidolons, the Grim Lava Mancers, and the rest in pieces, uh, along with the fetches. Fetches aren't too bad online, though, so. We are still here trying to find an opponent. This is quite a bit longer than normal queue time, I'd say have two Q windows up or anything? Nope. There we go. Alright. Game one. Let's do this. We are on the play. This is a pretty slow hand, but we do have two redraws. Uh, I'm. We have a turn one play, so... We're gonna go Inspiring Vantage. Goblin Guide. And get him for two. And go ahead, opponent. Water Grave. And they deal two damage for us. Stitcher Supplier. This looks like Hogak. Oh, and they have a Hogak. So, this makes things fun. Ooh, and we draw a Swift Spear. Hmm. That's tempting to play. Problem is, if they get a Hogak down, we are in... Mucho, mucho trouble. Um, and they're very close, as we can see, to doing that. So, um, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to swing in for two. See if they block. I doubt that they do. Brave Caller. Because they're going to need this Stitcher Supplier to cast Hogak. So... This is basically like a Birds of Paradise, and they block with it, okay. That's interesting. Um, hmm. I did not expect them to block. Ah, do I just save a Lightning Helix for if they cast something? I think I'm going to. I know this isn't how Burn normally plays, but Hogak is such a big, enormous pain in the ass that let's see if we can kind of get around him. Grave Crawler, sure. Still need another creature. Hmm. 
another grave crawler. We're gonna kill that. Hmm, now we have an idol on. If we kill this grave crawler, can't block. What's Swiss Sphere? See if I can take them completely off their game plan real quick here. I know I could have them at 10, but a little bit lower than 10, but I want to see what they have. See if this game plan works out here. So they can't cast grave crawlers. They have seven cards in hand. I mean, they're still doing really well. <laughs> like this is pretty brutal still. Okay, there's the crab. They're gonna mill themselves. They fetch. Get a swamp. They again mill themselves. Found a blood ghast. Can't come back this turn. They also found a Faithless Looting. Carrion Feeder, okay. That means that they can bring back Gravecrawler. That means that they can pay for the Gak. Yup. Swiss Spear Numero Dos. We attack him, we get blocked, blocked. Hmm. Oh, this is painful. I don't want to run into Hogak game one. Game, at least, like, with our sideboard. We have four rips, three paths. I mean, we have the tools to deal with all of this post board. So, right now, opponent, what you got? You can definitely attack me with the Gak. Like, you could really just attack me with everything, and I don't think that I would block anything. Uh, next turn, we have two, four, six, eight. I mean, we have lethal if they swing all in. You don't swing all in, especially with, like, Hedron Crab or something, but... We find like a bolt off the top and we still have lethal. Can't block, can't block. Hogak unfortunately still can block. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I don't think that they can kill me. We draw a bolt off the top, we win. Oh, uh, they can recast Hogak. Lol! <laughs> Card's kind of good. Ah, uh, fuck. Third Mesa is not what I want to see. Double Rift Bolt.
Don't think it's going to do it. Let's see what our top card is. Yep. I'm just going to go on to the next game. Hogak is fun. We have fun decks. Okay. Uh, Grim Lava Mancer becomes significantly worse with Rest in Peace. Uh, Eidolon actually is semi good against this deck. Uh, Searing Blaze is really good. Uh, Skewer is like our weaker of our burn spells. And then we have to remove one more. Oh, what are we removing? Maybe just a Rift Bolt. I'll like that. Yes, we'll go first. Of course we will. Uh, we have to mulligan that. Looking for a rest in peace. We found it. We will happily keep. And surprisingly, I'm going to get rid of the Boros Charm. Leyline of Sanctity. Okay. He drew a Vengevine. Bloodstain Mire. Blood Crypts. Faithless Looting. Discarded a Vengevine and a Hedron Crab. Well, we're going to cast this Rest in Peace. I know that they knew that that was coming. I did not expect Leyline. I'm not going to lie here. Smash is four. for artifacts or I was thinking of the uh, there's a red green version of burn that runs destroy target enchantment just for like ley line of sanctity but opponents doing most of the work for us they're already at 12 probably 10 here yep Wayfinder. Okay, so we're going to Canopy. I can't target them with Searing Blaze. I thought I could. Hmm. Well. Just cast Rift Bolt, make way for our Goblin Guide. They get a Steam Vents. I could see a concession to Bolt there instead of um, Bolt and then draw off of our Canyon. I mean, that's definitely possible. Plan for our opponent. Bloodgast. Got it, opponent. Well, let's see what we draw. Eidolon is really good. Yeah, we'll definitely play idle on here. Like 
solid gas can't block, so these are free beats. Opponent draws into a stitcher supplier. I'm going to help him here. Have the bolt. Have a lightning axe. Gargling Eidolon. Yep. Down to four, opponent. Goes to combat. Gets him with blood gas. Yep. It's a okay. Now what you got? Stitcher supplier, heat drawn crap. And a stitcher supplier. Put them top three cards into your graveyard. And a feeder? Ugh. Makes things like super not fun for us. So we're gonna attack him with Goblin Guide. They're gonna block with something. Let's force our opponent to block. Grave Crawler. Then, in response to whatever they sack to this, I'm gonna target it with this bolt. Now they can't grow up big enough to have it survive. So, bottom of turn, got some burn out of our hand. Tech blood gas, we say sure. Stitcher suppliers a card. Brave Crawler's a card. What if Foothills is a really bad card for us? Oh. So they can double block our Goblin Guide. Can we still get in? They're completely out of gas. Pretty sure if I offer it, I gotta block with both. Let's see what they do. Do block with both. I was afraid of that. Yep, sure. Foundry tap, just try to thin out our deck a little bit. Burn drawing five lands is not the greatest thing. Eidolon's a card. Makes it so they basically can't cast anything. Sure, you can get in. Get in for four. We draw an Arid Mesa. Ugh, that's not the card that we want at all. Ah, son of a gun. Yeah. Oh, three cards. Next two cards. Uh. Uh, well, 
we got gacked. Game one, we got gacked. Nothing we can do about that. I'm sure there's several things that we could have done about it. Uh, number one, played better. Uh, number two, been playing green. <laughs> uh, green plays the destroy target enchantment. That's the one weakness of this deck. It doesn't go to... I mean, we have Deflecting Palm, not really going to do anything. Skullcrack wouldn't have done anything there. Uh, but onwards and upwards. Let's go. We are on the draw. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. What are we playing against? Misty Rainforest. Bobble. Okay. Box Opal. Urzatron? Or Urza? Kinda looks like Urza. And we get a Rift Bolt. Always want to lead on our creatures. Grim Lava Mancer here. Uh, next turn. We really can't put enough cards in Graveyard for her to be worth it, but... Yeah, this looks like Urzatron. Chalice on one. Well, lucky for us, most of our cards are on two. <laughs> but nice try, opponent. Nice try. Alright, Sacred Foundry. Shock ourselves. We'll get in. And then we'll just Lightning Helix you. Funsies. Blast Zone. Killing our one drop, eh? Well, shucksy doodle. I think here we suspend Rift Bolt. Pass the turn. Galeria West, searching for another chalice. That's gonna suck. Suck real bad. Um, that will... Really F with our game plan. Another bolt. Well... Coughlin Guide. Oh, the Chalice. And they're gaining life? Ugh. Why does this happen? I don't even know what I'm looking for now. Like, we have... Not enough turns to draw into all of our three drops, right? We have one three drop. They're getting a life every turn. Now let's just go to the next game. Smash the Smithereens comes in. Uh, a couple of rest in peace, not too many. We don't want to dilute our game plan all too much. Um, skewer, Rift Bolt. Searing Blaze won't really kill much. At the Exile will, however. 
I'm taking it that this is Thopter Urza. I mean, it's the deck that people are running right now, so. We'll see if I'm right. All right, we will take the play. Oh, this is a bad hand. Let's mulligan that one away. This is a slightly better hand. Only one one drop. Sure. Keep. Let's skewer up the bottom. Gemstone. Oh, fuck. Turn one. I'm guessing we're about to get turn one. Uh. Catalyst. <laughs> and they're gonna draw sh a spirit guide. <laughs> Oh, Chalice on one, pretty good in the current meta. Bobble. Welding Jar. Mox Opal. Chalice on two. Tolarian West. Chalice of the Void. Alright, we survive. That's not what I wanted. Oh, he got them two lands off of that. Oh my goodness, Goblin Guide, what are you doing to me? Spell Sky, yep. Chalice of the Void on one, yep. Alright. So they have a Welding Jar and they have a Spell Sky. Kind of wanting to kill the spell sky, right? How do we accomplish that? Or do we just idle on and call it good? We can smash the smithereens here. They're gonna block. We get them one land. Two lands. Holy shit, we've gotten them four lands this turn. Yep. Let's just idle on. A blast zone. Sacred Foundry tapped. Smash to smithereens, force them to sack the welding jar. Get in for two. And force them to pay life, right? Hmm. What do we do? Do we do? I think that's for next turn. This turn, we'll just rest in peace. Baba looked at the top of our library. Chalice on two. 
Well, that pretty much locks us out of the game. We can skewer. Narset. How is this Narset whirl? Wheel? I think they're good. They're down to nine. I mean, it's kind of awesome. For the whirl for what? For the orb. I have another world mention. Oh, geez. Spirit guide. Sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> That was horrible. Oh, we ran into the Gak and we ran into Chalice on one in the dark. Oh, that's painful. That's brutal. Yep, this is keepable. Tron, just give me the trifecta. Oh, no. Infinity. Yup. That's a slow start. a little bit better there we go there we go yeah Eidolon would have been great would have been super right there um We came to turn things sideways. I'm down to 14. Ornithopter. Another lightning helix. Well, that's nice. Got them to land. Five three. Huh. Okay.
I am not allowed. Go get a mountain. This guy is preventing me from getting in. I don't like that. Gotta get rid of that. We have to pay one extra. So we gain no life off of this lightning helix. Nice. Getting our opponent all the cards. A Fogar. Yeah, life linkers kinda suck. Can you stop casting all these four drops? There we go. Yeah, this whole making my spells cost one extra kind of blows. Opter. Oh, shit. Now my spells cost four? I fucked up. A four. How fucking stupid is that? Signal pest. Gonna give everything plus one plus one. Eight or plus one plus zero, so two, four, six. Oh, I can't even attack in. No. No way, dude. There's no way that I can win. Oh, fudge monkeys, dude. Wow. Rift bolts seem bad. Not as bad as skewer. Oh man. I was dude, I don't I can keep this. They don't have a super explosive start we have idle on for. I mean it's Affinity, so they're gonna have a super explosive start, but they have one of their slower starts. Might be able to do something about it. Man, that was brutal. Alright.
Lan, Thopter, Opal, Engineer. <laughs> oh, this game, man. Oh, this game. Link Moth. The stupid golem, dude. Yep. Like, how does he have this stuff main board? If we don't draw another land here, we do. Kind of still in this. I still can't cast anything this turn. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> we need five lands to cast a two mana spell. So ridiculous. I mean, I got a double block here. Like, if I didn't, if I don't draw another land, I'm completely screwed. <laughs> I did. So I didn't have to do that, but. The Searing Blaze is going to cost me how much? Four. Four for one Searing Blaze. Have their Flying Life Linker out. Alt Scourge. Yep. Oh my goodness, dude. There's one thing that we're good at. We're really good at drawing lands. Activate Blink Moth. Another Blink Moth. Yup. Down to eleven. Idle on. I can't believe this. Let's cast Deflecting Palm, just for funsies. Oh, and I get to select the source? No. <laughs> I go down to one. Can't even cast anything because of Eidolon. Well, we're going out... We're going out the good way.
Holy cow, dude. Well, we're Earth 0 and 3 with Burn. Game 1, we played against the GAC. Game 2, we played against Mainboard Chalice. And Game 3, we just got affinity. Like, I feel far less sad about Game 3 as I did Games 1 and 2. <laughs> Oh, Modern, I love you right now. Oh, man. I brought in Smash to Smithereens against that deck, right? I could have mulliganed harder, but... Dude, they just had those golems that make you... No, I'm not happy about that last one. That last game was ridiculous. I had all this BS about freaking making your spells cost more. Like, only when I queue up for burn does that happen. Oh, two Swift Spears is kind of nice. Does that change my plan at all, though? Nope, not really. You got a path. Nope. Next turn will Swiss Spear, suspend a Rift Bolt. Unless we draw like a Goblin Guide or another Swiss Spear. Wall of Omens puts the damper on our plan. Well, shucksy doodle. Oros Charm's pretty good, though. Spend a Rift Bolt, we still get in for two damage. Rift Bolt comes off a of suspend, target them. We're gonna force it. Okay. Can't double cast anything. Oh, I can get him for three. Okay, if we Lightning Helix this, seems bad, we deal 3 damage to them. If we Lightning Helix them, we just Boros Charm them. Get our prowess triggers going. We're down to 10, we have Lethal in hand. Narset, sure. Narset, they found a path to exile. Awesome. We found another Swiss Spear. Alright. What can we do here? I'm just going to attack them. No path. There's the path. Yes, we'll use its ability. Get a mountain into play tapped. We're down to six. Found a mana leak. 
Can retard its spell unless the opponent pays three. It's pretty good. We also have cryptic mana up. Well, let's see if they want to mana leak this. They want a cryptic. Turning Narset to hand. Countering. Okay, well then we're just gonna suspend Rift Bolt. No real sense of attacking. They're just gonna block. They invested everything into this Narset. I'm looking for something. A13, how goes burn? Uh, we are 0-3. Game 1, we were against Hogak. Game 2, we were against Chalice and Mainboard. And Game 3, we were, we were against Affinity that made all of our spells cast cost more. So, like, our bolts costed, like, 5 mana. It was the worst. Like, they knew that I was queuing up Burn tonight, so they just put me in the fuck you league, is what happened. So they're leaving up the mana leak. What did they get with Narset? They got a path, looks like. So we'll attack. They block. They try to lightning helix them. We're gonna mana leak it. We're gonna try to lightning helix them again. Alright, we got there. Go fight win. Searing blazes can come out. What comes in for them though? not gonna have anything for smash the smithereens like do we just run it back the sideboard plan is horrible against you white control i think we're just gonna run it back they have ley line we're pretty fucked <laughs> it's gonna be operation try to get Try to get dudes on the ground. Swing in. Oh, yep, we're mulliganing this. There's some dudes. There's some keepable dudes. Um, Bolt's probably our worst card here. Just saying. Like, just the strength of this hand. Tap land from our opponent. Another goblin guide. Okay, deck. I guess we're gonna start playing some goblin guides. Swing it in. Celestial Purge. Instant, yeah it is. Land. Are set on top. Yep. Timely. Timely. Okay, they're going to try to double block, right? 
So... Pretty sure the correct thing to do is Searing Blaze, but let's see how they block. This is instant, right? Yep. Another Timely off the top? Oh, you're kidding me! They respect the Searing Blaze. Get an R set. Yup. That happens. They find another timely reinforcement. Oof. That is the big oof. Oh, we're gonna have to fight through two timelies now. Fuck it, we're just gonna kill an R set. I don't even care. I'm pretty tilted at this point. Seer and Visions for our opponent. There's kind of been stuck on these three lands, so I guess we have that going for us. Lava Spike. Alright. I mean, now they can timely and gain all that life back. Whoops. Path. Had the path. And another timely reinforcement. Resto Angel. I'm so done with this. <laughs> oh, the only thing saving me right now is the fact that they've been stuck on these three lands. We're having to double Serum Visions. Seen six cards now. Finally found that land. game I'm gonna save Swiss Sphere they rest your angel Can you choose not to flicker you may oh, fuck fucking to fair This is this is actually happening. Well, just reveal my hand. Um Skull Cracks. Searing Blaze. I totally forgot about Timely Reinforcements. Um, what they call bad at magic. Yes, we'll play Skullcrack. We have Lava Spike. We have Grim Lava Mancer. Not sure.
Um. I don't believe that Grim Lava Mancer is going to make a difference here. I guess next turn I could have Lava Spiked, but... Makes things a little bit faster. Spend a Rift Bolt. Get in. Cryptic commands on top. Earth bolt them. Another goblin guide. Okay. Serum visions on top for our opponent. Celestial purge on the. What are the odds that they have timely? I'm gonna guess pretty high, right? Ah, uh, I guessed wrong. Field of Ruin? Step. Let's crack this. A Swiss Sphere. Draw two Swiss Spheres. Okay. Have a path. <laughs> we got them two lands. Oh, that's brutal. Alright, no timely. No timely and we win. Oh, surprise, they have timely. It's okay, we're still looking pretty good. Oust. <laughs> Found them a flooded strand. Fog one of ours. Gold Swiss Spear to the rescue. Cryptic counter draw. Yep. Your visions. See your visions. For two, no. Tapping for Wall of Omens, eh? Fun. Advantage.
Lava spike them. They're tapped out. Bad news is now they have enough mana to like cryptic and timely. So if they have it, they have it. And a week. Yup. Oh my god. Oh, this burn deck. Oh, this is bad. I am really sorry for this performance tonight. It is... Abysmal is saying it nicely. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, this was $8 that uh, was just flushed down the drain. So uh, we're 0-4 with Burn. Um, we have won a single game. And... That's where we're at. I don't know what else to say. Other than like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. If you didn't, I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. All right. Last match of the night is going to be Neoform and or... And I say and... Or Urzatron. Obviously, we can't keep this hand. We need lands to play magic. This is one land. Is it good enough? Sure. Whatever. My luck, I'll draw, like, all the lands out of our deck, so we're good. Alright. 19. Island. Aether Vial. Merfolk? Hey, look at that. We are good at making those land drops. Helix them. I think it was. I should have suspended Rift Bolt there. I actually kept the land in my hand in case they played a creature that I needed to deal three damage to. I'm pretty tilted though. Tilt is real. Don't, don't you dare try to, try to do that spreading seas on my, <laughs> why, why do you not like to play magic? Goblin guide. Cast the guide. Spreading Seas is not fun. Don't worry, our Goblin Guides have done work for all of our opponents tonight. I am super proud of them. They are a great team of guys, and or girls. Whatever their gender might be, they've been a great addition for our opponents in our deck tonight. Muta Vault for our opponent. Silver Guile. Miscaller. Till if a non token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it. That's a fun addition. Hey! Look what we found! A land! Activates our Searing Blaze. 
kind of want to see how they block, though. But we're, we're definitely playing the land. <laughs> we found them another island. <laughs> oh. Oh, this game. Goblins are like bees. Oh, I should have waited for the Lord. That's fair. That's totally fair. Return Swiss Spear to hand? Okay. Keeping Aether Vial on two makes me think that they have that one card that lets them flashy something in. Oh, like the Lord of Atlantis that they just revealed. Oh, game. Yeah, Murphuck Trickster is another one. I'm somewhat worried about. Searing Blaze, but this one only does one damage. Suspend Rift Bolt, play Swift Spear. They know that we have it, so. Pass back to our opponent. It's not worth it to just attack him with a Goblin Guide and lose it for zero. Yup. Are we just dead? Three, seven, eleven, seventeen, and I can't block. Yep. Yup. Well, shit, son. Oh. Yeah, I agree, 13. The Lords. So, this might be an 05 night. We might have done work. <laughs> Oh, please. Please just hit submit. Anything that says lose life, take out of your deck. Anything that says gain life, put into your deck, which means that I probably should put in Skullcracks. Smash? Is it worth it to bring in Smash for bolts and pull up their Aether Vial? I think so. Oh, uh, sure. We can keep this. It's not the greatest of hands. It's not the worst of hands, though.
Oh, let's see. Turn one, we're going to Goblin Guide. Turn two, we're going to Swiss Sphere and Bolt something. Have your land, opponent. <laughs> Why? Why are you so good, Goblin Guide, in all my opponent's decks? But in my decks, you just... Like... Are the worst. And of course we draw a land. A, we did not get them one of those things the the landy thingies we did it opponents at 11 we're gonna cast something here we're gonna get to draw a card they did draw a miss caller they are going to get a block 2 damage. It does kind of suck. But, good news fam, we're really good at drawing lands. Like, we are really good at drawing lands. So, I'm not playing the cat, uh, the sun baked right now. Um, reason being, it would just be out on the field, and I couldn't... They have Force of Negation. Oof. It's the big oof. Um, so Sunbank Canyon is would just be out there and free for them to use their spreading seas on uh and it's just not worth it they are at nine so they're a couple boros charms away i have another aether vial Well, let's go searching for a land. Lava Spike. A Boris Charm. How? Okay, if I attack in... They could file in one of their Mergly dudes. I have two draws here. Tapped out. They have one card in hand. Don't know what it is. Uh, let's attack, see how they block. If they turn on this up, Aether Vial. I mean, right now I'm pretty much at the point where I'm just casting spells, so. When it does have Aether Vial, they vial in another Lord, and I regret attacking in. A triple block? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
This was for his super dad. They are out of cards in hand. I don't want them to draw like a... Like something bad. Alright. They're at the dangerous five. Get one draw. Dude, you do you, man. Whatever you want to cast, you can cast. Alright, all I want is one three damage spell off the top. Yep. What is my yield until... Oh, it's eight? Oh, Eidolon, you're not what I want to see right now. Alright, I need a bolt. I need a bolt off the top. have been the worst burn league of my life if for some odd reason you're still watching this at this point on youtube leave a comment with the numbers eight five seven zero you leave those numbers i'll figure out something special for you because you deserve a treat you are amazing if you made it this far um, so anyway, um, yeah, that was burn. That was bad burn. And you should not be watching this video. But if you are, hit like, hit subscribe. We finally got 100 subscribers. I'm so thankful. Thank you all who have been watching our videos. It really helps us out. Um, tomorrow, I'm not quite sure what 13's doing. Uh, he has some personal things that came up. So you might be doing just a straight to YouTube video. Um, for me, I am not going to be playing Burn on Thursday, probably going back to Jund, since I actually know how to play that deck. But that was, that was Burn. That was the, that was the 05 Burn. So, thanks everyone. Have a good one.